important to study the family because uh, the family is one key institution that operates uh, in many countries and particularly in developing countries. There are several dimensions, several ways to look at the family. So first, the households uh, that we all think about when we think about families, who are people who share roof, who share meals, so it's understood as a co-residential unit. But if we uh, look at the wider family, which is a group of households that are linked through uh, blood ties or adoption, they share rights and obligations and they fulfill very important roles, especially in developing country context. For some of the function of the family, we know quite a lot. For example, we know that family play very important insurance role. Economists have done research in this area showing that informal insurance exists but it's not uh, perfectly sharing the risk, we say, between uh, across households. If you have a weak judiciary system, which is often the case in weak states, then the family is playing an important role in settling conflicts. You don't turn to, the, uh, to any sort of uh, formal uh, judiciary institution. You actually consult the elders of the community where you are living, and the elders are the patriarch of the main families in the place, and they're going to meet and find a solution for this, uh, for this conflict. So it, it involves directly family institutions. Family systems also uh, matter a lot because their uh, organization may hinder or favor actually processes of development for societies as a whole. Economists have done research in this area showing that some family systems, so clan-based family system, for example, may hinder the development of an anonymous market. The families also, um, also set up rules about marriage, about inheritance, and all these have very deep consequences for individual um, mobility or for individual's life. Many states are in fact secretly or discreetly run by families. So there are families which have uh, strong political functions, are embedded in the state and the society in a way that makes them very powerful. Uh, you see that in so many countries today, of course, the Middle East, but not only the Middle East, in many Asian societies, for example. And so it's very important to understand whether this is what we want, whether there are no ways to improve the situation. But how do you do that is an extremely complex question. Development is about uh, increasing the welfare of the people over the long term. So you are very concerned if people belong to families and to households, to know how the households and the family prevent them from gaining the benefits uh, from uh, public policies that are aimed at development. It's a critical question. You cannot just ignore the family and think as though they were not existing because, in fact, they are changing the impact of your public policies. Mm -hmm.